So I thought I'd do a quick video of my efforts to put a fuel gauge in this Gravely Zero Turn mower. This model doesn't come with a fuel gauge. It just comes with a, a place to see the fuel through the side. This one's actually been modified. That was one of my efforts was to cut that open a little farther. That didn't really work very well. So I go to the website and I see that a lot of these mowers have got a fuel gauge that drops in the top of the tank. Um, and this is actually it here. It's got a grommet, just plugs in, doesn't go through the cap because the cap is up in this mower, is up in the shallow end of the tank. So I go buy this and I think I'm going to cut this in and everything will be great. So I lay everything out, cut my hole. Lo and behold, I cut right in the top of the, the uh, pickup tube in the center of the tank. And that was just totally by accident, random accident. The quarter inch of the bolt that's there is a quarter inch bolt I cut off to fill the hole that I drilled. So go to plan B. So I'm, we're messing around here and we realize that it's just not enough light in the tank or you can't see the fuel because it's a nylon tank like all of them are. Um, so I came up with this idea. I'll show you how it looks. But you can see that, see the fuel level there? Easy to see now. All I did was take a, take a uh, under cabinet light. It's epoxied and taped right now. It's got tape over it, but it's just epoxied to the tank. Ran a wire around, uh, hot and negative, hot and uh, negative and positive. And then this is a push button switch here just to turn the light on and off. Uh, works really, really well. You can buy these lights on Amazon like two for eight bucks or something like that, but it's just a puck light for under cabinet stuff. Uh, works really well. Hope it helps out.